According to the website, Lufthansa owns around 8.45% shares in Fraport. Uh, specifically about privatization, have the Greek people benefited from it? I keep an open mind on privatization. Uh, if, when people ask me, are you in favor or against? My answer is it depends. Which privatization and under what con conditions and circumstances? So when it came to the privatization of, let's say, a telecom company, the Greek telecom company, I don't think that that was a bad idea. But if you ask me about the privatization of uh, the electricity grid, I'm dead against it because it, it never works. Whenever you privatize uh, such uh, a natural monopoly, the result is inefficiency and uh, corruption. Uh, California style, for instance, right? On the question of the Greek regional airports, even if you're a neoliberal who believes in privatization, you should question the sale of all 14 regional airports to one company. Uh, supposedly, I mean, when Margaret Thatcher introduced privatization on a neoliberal agenda that I fought against, I used to live in Britain then, I used to demonstrate against uh, the, uh, Mrs. Thatcher's policies, but I don't believe that Mrs. Thatcher would e ever consider selling all airports to one company because the point of privatization was to bring competition into the market. That's, there's no competition there when one company buys all the airports. <laughs> so uh, I'm afraid that the fact that the Greek government, actually no Greek government since 2010, has owned its uh, economic and social reform policy agenda leads to colonial uh, type um, deals, which in the end do not benefit the economy, uh, and make the people of the country feel that effectively they are being abused and exploited. And this is a, never a good feeling to have when you want to reform a country.